Hello and welcome to an episode of... Wait, they added what? Today GameMaker just announced a new beta version, 2023.100.0.269. I'm going through the patch notes and there's some stuff I don't understand. Some stuff about fonts that seem to have people excited, a new audio effect, some texture group features, some HTML5 options, and some new functions. One of these functions in particular catches my eye called Move and Collide. And the notes say it can now be used for moving to a new location and detecting collisions with other instances along the way. Now that sounds interesting. Stay tuned and I'll show you how it works. Here's what Move and Collide looks like when we put it into action. I used it here in a top-down point of view, so you're gonna have to pretend that the pink box is your player and they're colliding with the blue walls. You'll notice that when a player moves in a direction and collides with one of these slanted walls, they'll kind of slip and slide along the wall, which is what happens in these types of games. Previously, this behavior was a little tricky to do, and I'm actually not the best coder, so I was happy buying an asset that does the heavy lifting for me. Systems like these seem easy, but they can get complicated pretty fast. Luckily for us, this will be a built-in script going forward. I'll show you how I set this up. It's really easy. For the assets, I created three sprites. A player sprite as a pink rectangle, a solid sprite as a blue rectangle, and a slope sprite as a blue triangle that'll form a slope. It's worth noting that the collision for this sprite is set to precise, so the player can interact with the slanted edge of this sprite. I also created three objects, OBJ Solid, OBJ Slope, which is a child of OBJ Solid, and OBJ Player. The events for OBJ Solid and OBJ Slope are completely empty, so let's just look at the player. OBJ Player only has a step event. Normally, this code might be organized a bit differently, and some variables would be declared in the create event first, but this is for demonstration purposes, and it works just fine as is. First, we store our key presses into some variables for the four directional keys that we want to use. Then, if any of those keys are pressed, we set our move speed to 2. If no keys are pressed, move speed will be 0. We then calculate our horizontal and vertical directions based on our inputs as well as we calculate a direction also based on those inputs. The last thing we'll do on our own is calculate how far horizontally our player will move and how far vertically our player will move. Last, we'll use the function that this whole video is all about, move and collide. Three arguments are required, an X value to move by, a Y value to move by, and what object it should be colliding with. We put in the X and the Y that we calculated above, and then we put that we want to collide with the instances and the children of OBJ Solid. This will include the slopes too, and that's all there is to it. When we run the game, it behaves just as we expect. Move and Collide will move our player by the X and Y speeds and do its best to avoid colliding with OBJ Solid. When there's a slope or a slant, it'll glide along the side of it. Easy. And this function just isn't for top-down games either. It can work with a variety of games. Yes, Move and Collide will also help you move up and down slopes in your side-scrolling platformers. Some things in GameMaker can be a bit of a mystery, like the built-in gravity, friction, and speed variables. Move and Collide is no different. While you won't have complete control over your movement like you would if you built an engine from the ground up, this should be more than enough for most projects. It's also worth noting that there are three more optional arguments that you can put into Move and Collide, but those will be for another video. If you want to play with Move and Collide today, you can on the newest beta release of GameMaker. Thanks for watching and sticking around to the end of this video. If you want to keep up with the latest videos, hit the subscribe button. 